Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start with one point perspective. So perspective is basically the idea that as things get further away from you, they get smaller, which makes a lot of sense. I think the most common thing that people think of with this is sort of the example of if you were standing on railroad tracks, you'd be sitting here and the tracks would be getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as they went moved away until they vanished. And this is actually called the vanishing point, which is one of the more practical art terms you've ever heard of, much easier than chiaroscuro, which means smoky light, um, which you don't really need to know. But um, we also have a horizon line. Okay, so the horizon line is where the horizon would be. So the horizon is where the ground, this is ground, meets the sky. Okay, horizon line, cool. Vanishing point is going to be on your horizon line just about all the time. Um, if you know why it's not, then you can do other stuff that doesn't, but for your purposes, it will be. Um, this is also usually called the eye level because it is the level your eye is at, and that will make sense in a second. So there are three rules, and only three rules that you need to know how to use for one point perspective. Number one, first thing you do is you draw the front of the shape. Number two, you connect all visible corners of that shape to the vanishing point. I put VP there, but vanishing point, see VP. And number three is that all your sides end at the same angle as they begin. Okay, well, what does this mean? Let's start off with something straightforward and simple like a rectangle. So I'm going to quickly draw a rectangle in here using my straight edge. You want to use your straight edge for everything. Perspective is very much about precision. Things don't work right if you don't use straight lines, so you want to use a straight edge for all of it. So I will do step one. I will draw the front of my shape. Step two, I will take all the visible corners of my shape and connect them back to my vanishing point. Corner one, corner two, corner three. I do not draw this corner. It's there, but it's on the back of the shape. I can't see it, so I don't worry about it. So step two, connect all my corners visible corners to the vanishing point. And then step three, whatever angle a side begins at, it ends at the same angle. The way to get this right is you put your straight edge on that angle, keep it that at that angle, move it as far back as you want. If you move it a little bit, your shape will be skinny. If you move it further, your shape will go farther back, easy enough. And you end it at the same angle it begins. So on this side, put my straight edge on that, that front corner, move it back as far as I want. I do want to connect with the back corner over there. There's my shape. Simple, all right? So same thing over here. I'm just gonna do this again, and I'm going to, once again, step one, front of the shape. Step two, sorry, we didn't finish step one. Step two, all visible corners go to my vanishing point. Da -da -da. There we go, there we go, and there we go. And once again, I do not do this corner because it's on the back end of the shape, I can't see it. And step three, however side begins, ends at the same angle. Put my straight edge on the side, move it away as far as I want. Corner, put my straight edge on the side, move it away as far as I want. Or if you've already drawn one corner, connect it to it. And there's my shapes. All right, cool. Um, what else could I do with this? So here I'm going to erase this real quick so I've got just a little bit of space. So this horizon line eye level thing, horizon line eye level thing, OK? Um, it's the horizon line because that's where the horizon is. It's called the eye level because if my eye level is here, notice the shape is above me. I can tell because I can see the bottom of it. This shape is below me. I can tell because I can see the top of it. Okay. Um, if I do a shape on my horizon line, the rules don't change. I still do step one, draw the front of the shape. Step two, all visible corners go back to my vanishing point, like so can't do these two because I can't see them. All right. And step three, however side begins, it ends at the same angle. And most people go, wait a minute, hold on. Why did we only do one side? How, you know, is this wrong? Did I mess up because I can't see two sides? Well, no. Imagine if you look around my classroom, I've got these big eight foot cabinets, right? So the top of the cabinet is eight feet tall. You can't see the top of it unless you're on standing on a chair and you can't see the bottom of it because it's sitting on the floor. All you can see is the front and the side. That's what we have here, so that's completely correct. So that is your basic level uh, one point perspective. Those are all the rules you need. Front of the shape, connect your corners back to the vanishing point, end it. 
and next we'll go on to some more advanced stuff. So as far as more advanced stuff, let's go to a more complex shape. And people are like, oh, it's really hard. Nope, nope, rules are still the same. Okay, so I've drawn the front of my shape. I'm going to connect my corners back to my vanishing point. Now, if I know my shape is not going to go very far back, I don't have to make these lines all the way to the vanishing point. I can just have them point at it. It's very important they point exactly at it, but I don't have to draw this huge, long line. So I'm going to do all my corners. It doesn't matter whether it's a corner like this or like this. There is no difference. A corner is a corner is a corner. So corner of my vanishing point, corner of my vanishing point, corner of my vanishing point. Keep going like that, right? I don't draw these corners because I can't see them. They're behind the shape. And however side begins, in this case here, it ends at the same angle. However side begins, it ends the same angle. And what I did, by the way, to get these to feel like they match up is the distance from here to here is basically the same on both of them. This is easy, because once I've drawn this, I can just keep running around the edge of my shape. So front corner, back corner, or edge, I should say front edge, back edge, right? Front edge, back edge, front edge, back edge. And so it always begins and ends at the same angle. Front edge, back edge, and as I said, this distance is the same, that distance is the same, that distance is the same. There's a more exact way to do it, but that's enough for us um, to make that good. So you notice that even with a super complex shape like this, or if you did letters or numbers or whatever, rules don't change, it's the same thing. What if I wanted to make a shape hollow? I can make a shape hollow. Back here, I'll make this shape hollow real quick. So what I'll do is, we didn't draw this corner back to the vanishing point at first because we can't see it, it's on the back of the shape. What if this was a box and this I had a lid and I could pull the lid off? If I could pull the lid off, I'd be able to see down inside of the box, like if you could look into a cardboard box, right? Well, then I could see this corner because I could see it on the inside of the box. Well, the rules don't change. Corners that we can see go towards the vanishing point, like that. Okay, well, there's the back corners of the box, so a side begins and ends at the same angle. So there's the front of the box, that's the back of my box, there's the front of the top, there is the back of the top. Here's the front of the side, there's the back of the side, and you notice without even trying, it lined up perfectly with that back corner. And this is why using the straight edge is important because it will allow you to do that. It'll just work. You won't even have to think about it, it just will. Now one of the things mistake people make is they think they see this and they're like, oh, I know how to draw the inside of a box. I just draw this. Okay? And that's not correct. It's not correct because the direction of this line is away from you, back into space. And away from you is towards the vanishing point. So it's not really a down to the left or down to the right or anything like that. It's just towards the vanishing point. So if I draw this shape, my corner that if I took the lid of my box off would now go towards my vanishing point which is here so now this would go kind of up towards the right because it's going towards the vanishing point all right back corner of my oops sorry here I'll make it like this you can see so there's the front of my side you can there's the back corner of the box there's the back should have made that a little bit longer I guess okay here's the front of the bottom there's the back of the bottom. And once again, it lines up with there. So there's the inside of that box. Um, this, by the way, would be the exact same thing. Corner towards the vanishing point. Corner towards the vanishing point. And I could just decide where I wanted to end this thing. Side begins, ends the same angle. Side begins, ends the same angle. And once again, begins and ends the same angle. So there's all three hollow boxes. So there's some more advanced stuff for you. Finally, what I'm going to show you how to do is repeat this shape over and over again. So if I have this box and I'm going to make what's called a stack, I'm going to take a bunch of the same shape. So I've got the front corner and the back corner of the box, right? I'm going to repeat it. I'm doing the same shape. So I'm going to line up my straight edge with what I already have, move it back a little further, front corner, back corner. All right, same thing here. 
line my shape with what I already have, and front corner, back corner. All right, so here's what I have. Box, space in between, box. So box, space in between gets erased. Box, box, space in between, box, box, space in between, box. Okay, cool. So what is this box missing? Has a left side, has a bottom side. It needs this front right, front top. So there's my front top. Remember, I'm doing the exact same shape again, right? Keep at the same angle, move down till I touch that corner. There we go. Front right side, keep at the same angle, move it back to them there. And so box, space, box again. I'll do that again really, really quick. So front of the box, back of the box, line it up. Front of the box, back of the box, box, space in between, box, that corner, space in between, there's that corner, space in between, and I need the top, and the top, and the top, and the right side, and the right side, and the right side, and there you go, you have a stack.